Welcome to online classes. This is our second video of your third chapter HTML2. In our last video we have studied about hyperlinks. How we can provide links to the user or the one who is filling up the information or receiving the information. We can use hyperlinks through tags. How we can use it through picture, through a link. We can link our email, etc. In this video, we'll talk about forms. Form is basically the information that you fill physically or if you're surfing the web you are filling in your information to the website or the website is asking for your feedback we can use the forms through action it can be an internal link or it can be external URL attributes get method it is used by the compiler, the programmer, to get information, how the information, where the information is stored. Now, creating a form. When you want to create a form, you should start with a form tag, which can be located anywhere in the body or within the body tags, and it should end with form tag means it's a pair tag now text input first of all usually when you fill in a form you enter your name address and phone number right this is where the text input comes in you say input type text etc and how much the size should be this is a basic program of text input here the title is guest book and in headings they are saying my guest book and the small information you enter your name address and code right I have designed a small when you want to open already developed page of an HTML just click right click and open with notepad or you can double click and open source from your browser in here we have said HTML form exercise now the form is started pre pre is basically a tag in which the font formation is standardize we'll talk about it in the end of this video now when you want to enter something this information is going to be displayed on the screen and now input the type input should be here text the type is text name full name and the number of characters it should display when you open this This is where you fill in your name. This is the heading. This is your enter name text displayed. And you can say student or your name, whatever your name you want to fill. Now, text space areas. In here, there's only one row you want to increase the size of the text area you can always add in columns and rows it is usually used when you want to add comments comments rows and columns input type is equal to checkbox now what is a checkbox when we talk about input type checkbox basically talking about the options as a square, uh, square boxes that you tick or untick when you are surfing the web 
when we enter text type text box and here we enter check box name and information in this file we have decided to create a check box heading to a check box input type this here check box we have said it should be student and this is going to be displayed is it okay name whatever you want this is going to be displayed like this you can check it out or uncheck it same thing happens with radio buttons radio buttons are those buttons where only one choice can be selected when you have multiple check boxes you can tick them all or just tick one but in radio buttons you can only select one option you cannot choose multiple options in radio buttons in this type input type is equal to radio the name card whatever you want to get displayed on the screen in our coding in third heading under third heading we have said input type radio name is equal to gender i want to add an option of gender selecting male or a female when you run this program this is where it is selected you can only option 1 or either one correct then selection list now we have studied about text box the information that we fill in but what about the list that is already present the options that are already given to us and we have to select either one or two of them and usually it's only one option in that we use pull down or scroll down options we give multiple options to the user and it can be selected with select starting and ending tag and these are the attribute tags we'll briefly talk about it in here in heading 4 we decided to select these selection list and the select name the select name input size 2 3 1 whatever you want to have the options number of options you want to have in here we have tried only 3 option 1 option 2 and option 3 you can input whatever you want and it can be displayed if i say in here there are three boxes you can choose option 1 2 or 3 right e either one if i change a bit in here and let's say 2 save and then refresh this page see the options changed student tick tick then you can scroll down option 1 option 2 and when you have all these options filled eventually you have to submit that form this is where we use buttons submit and reset button more usually in a submit button all the information is going to be sent to the web server or to the website and reset button will erase all the information from that page and clear all the information in this input type you we give submit the type should be submit and the value okay or clear all this is how it works input type submit click submit we can type anything in here value but we should always make sure that we give the type right and we are ending the form here and body in html and when you have your html page you submit here or reset whatever you want okay 
another pre tag the pre element re represents perform pre formatted text the text which is already pre formatted you cannot change it or you can have options to change it but it is usually displayed without any rendered or non proportional space or sim simple font white space inside this element is displayed as written okay with this our this part of video or this part of the chapter is finished and next chapter we'll talk about frames if you have any questions do let me know thank you